three different motorcycle crash cases come to mind immediately, one of which I just dispersed on today to the mother of her deceased daughter who was killed in a motorcycle crash. She was driving along the road, beautiful day. On the other side of the road was a vehicle that had stopped to make a left-hand turn. Truck came around the bend, hit that car from behind, knocked the car across the center line, and killed my woman's uh, beautiful, beautiful daughter. Uh, the biggest problem in that case was we had numerous people who were just terribly injured, and we had to fight through limited coverage to get the huge line share of the insurance to cover the death in for my particular client. We had another case where a truck wiped out an entire motorcycle club. Uh, they had stopped on the roadway down in North Carolina, and there were 11, 12 members of the motorcycle club. The driver of the semi-truck fell asleep, came off the road at a bend in the road, and wiped out the entire motorcycle club. We had people who were killed in that crash. We had people that lost limbs in that crash. And the biggest problem, we had 12 people represented by 12 different lawyers, and everyone just wanted to accept the fact that the truck only had a million dollars in coverage to cover everybody. We said, not so fast. And part of the job as a lawyer in these type of cases, go find additional insurance. So it's not just through the truck. Sometimes it's through the trailer. Sometimes, in this case, it was through the broker. We find millions of dollars of additional coverage that made a huge difference in what my client walked away with as a, as a settlement at the end of that case.